Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. You guys know I love products and I'm always trying to figure stuff out. So last year we talked about the turbine, or turbine, however we say it, the put turbine. in your news, turbine. So Mitch is with me right now. Now last year I talked about this because obviously getting air is a huge deal, right, for your VO2 max. If you've never done a VO2 max effort, then you probably don't understand it. But if you have, you understand at the very end, you're trying to grab oxygen from anywhere you can. And that helps with blood flow, all that kind of stuff, which Mitch is the big guru all that cool stuff, he's got the big titles, he'll explain that. What I'm gonna explain is the simple stuff. When you're riding and you start to do big efforts, if air is not there, you die on the bike, okay? That's just all there is to it. So I tested the product last year, did a review on it, and I told you I didn't like it for a couple of reasons, and I liked it for a couple of reasons. The number one reason I didn't like it is when you start to breathe hard and you get a lot of snot coming through your nose, it was slick and it actually made the product start to work out. So the whole entire time you're pushing the product back up in your nose trying to keep it there, okay? So I came by their booth because they, they were really cool about it. They reached back out to me on the blog and said, let us send you some new product. I was lazy and did not reach back out to them, okay? Very cut and dried because I got a lot of stuff going on. So I came to their booth today and they've redesigned this and so I've had it in my nose here for a little while. The left side of my nostril is obviously bigger than my right side because it feels better when I've moved this out. But it actually does fit a lot better. Now, I don't have a snotty nose right now. I'm gonna go ride tonight. We'll see if, when that starts to happen, how much difference there is. But overall fit and the way the pressure is in the nose is 100 times better. So, right now, Mitch, tell us about the technology. Tell us a little bit more about what you did in the redesign and how it's gonna affect those out there. Okay, so. Thanks Go ahead, as I Thanks start sticking this back all in Alright, get it back in there. So, look, we took some advice from Chris Froome and a number of other elite athletes. Who's um, Chris Froome? Yeah, I don't know, some guy who won the Tour de France. <laughs> anyway, Two times. He, uh, he was pretty keen on, uh, on a redesign of the product so that it sat at the base of his nose. So what we did, we created these loops. And actually then this targets the nasal valve, which is where the creases are in your nose, and it opens up there. And also, we put a ratchet mechanism in to actually max out the dilation. And then it also stents your nose, so it can't close down again. It really stents it here, where 50% of the resistance You really noses. will feel it more than the other product, what they did out. You will feel it more up into here, which is really cool. And it's a good pressure. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, so it, it sits neatly in your nose, and the idea is that it sits at the bridge there and then goes back and down. And it reduces the resistance in your airway by allowing 38% more air in your, into your nose. And you'll know, you, you, you realize this part, when, you breathe, when you're breathing in and out really fast, yeah. you're still in training 27% of the air through your nose. Yeah. So if you can reduce that resistance, it means there's less energy going on your respiratory muscles. The other thing that you should know is if you want to keep your heart rate lower, you should be breathing through your nose anyways. Now, not all cyclists train themselves to breathe through their nose. Most of us all train ourselves to breathe strictly through our mouths as we're doing that because you're a, you're a deep breather through your mouth. If you can, while you're training through the winter and off time periods, practice literally put tape across your mouth if it needs to and learn how to breathe through your nose, your power will go up and your heart rate will stay down. Is that right, Doc? It, it's true and also the you're actually filtering the air. That's right. That's you're humidifying the air in the sinuses and actually you have nitric oxide that gets yep. released from the sinuses that then actually get better perfusion into your lungs. And better perfusion means Don't you love those big oxygen. words? Super cool. More oxygen into the blood, which means more oxygen into your legs and right. less in breathing. And that's why you'll talk on some of my videos, I talk about how you need to take a deep breath sometimes after you've done a big hard effort and go and really blow that out. It's because of that. It clears those lungs out and lets that start to rebuild inside of there. So, so, so he's or, probably got a better method than I do. So also for, uh, not just for uh, sports in terms of cycling, you can use it for running. Yeah. We've got triathletes swim, bike, awesome. and running in this. We're going to have athletes in Kona using this device. Um, obviously, we've got uh, the Tour de France riders. Uh, we're going to have a lot of athletes in the Olympics. Um, we've got some middle distance runners as well who yeah. are using on the track. So essentially, I don't just think it's just for while you're doing sports, it's also for recovery. So breathing is so important for recovery. So partly about relaxation, but also, again, if you're reducing the resistance in your airway post-exercise, your muscles are going to recover faster because you're feeding them with valuable oxygen. Yeah, amen to that. So Chris Froome, if you watch this video, huge fan of everything I have. I love you. You're a great example of the sport. And I can't wait to ride bikes with you. Whatever that bribe needs to be, just let me know. <laughs> no, seriously, 
you guys get out there, try this product out. Another thing is, is when you're recovering, get the oxygen in there or you're at altitude, like I ride the Leadville Trail 100, that's my big race every year, you know that. When you start to get to altitude, oxygen becomes even more important to that. This is a great thing for that as you're doing that. So when you do that, go ahead. Just a little bit more information is that uh, there's, we come in a box of three, there's three different sizes, small, medium, large. Each one you can use 10 times, so you can go, you can each use each one 10 times. Each of a pack will be 30 uses, and that's $27.95. You can buy it online at theturbine.com or coming to, to bike stores near you very soon. Yeah, so there's the sales pitch out of the doctor, right? So get them wherever you want to, get out there, try them out. Let us know below what your thoughts are. These guys have been good. The last video they did just some comments on. We'll give them the link so they can get back to you if you have questions. But the most important thing is get out there, ride your bike, and have a great time.